Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Knight of the Accord, the Soldier of Order. Um, this is the good guy knight, in case you were unaware. Uh, here he is in the packaging. It is a carded figure, but not a blister card. He is in collector-friendly packaging. All you have to do is fold these plastic tabs, or flaps over, and then slide the card out, and... Bang, you've got access to the figure. You can also put him back in without showing any real signs that you actually removed him. So be on the lookout if you're buying these on the aftermarket because you want to make sure that all the accessories are in fact included when you do purchase one. Anyway, uh, here he is in the packaging. As you can see up here, um, HAX stands for the Highly Articulated Character Kit System, which I've mentioned in previous videos that basically means that the body parts as well as the majority of his accessories and arm and different armor pieces can be taken off and applied to other figures and interchanged you can kick bash these you can because they come apart it's easy to paint them and then reassemble them very very good for customizing or army building and actually uh, very good artwork on the package, and speaking of army building too, uh, he comes with three different head sculpts so that you can um, have a diverse uh, League of Knights. So basically, uh, that's the front of the package. On the other side, I'm a little discombobulated today, I apologize for that. Um, here he is on the back, as you can see he has got a file card, which is roughly about the same size as other file cards from G.I. Joe line, for example. And I'm a huge fan of these, if you've seen my reviews already. Um, feel free to pause the video and read his, fi his file card now. Once again, I love the fact that they include these. It helps flesh out the characters. It helps give the characters more depth, more personality, and um, makes the whole line that much more interesting to collect, frankly. Um, I wish more companies did it. Um, these are other figures that are also uh, available. I believe this was Wave 1 and Wave 2, if I remember correctly. Um, I do have all of these figures, except for maybe her. I have to double-check, but... I've reviewed several of these already, so if you're interested in seeing those reviews, uh, feel free to check out my channel and look at the figures there. If I don't have the review currently posted, keep checking back. It will be up there sooner rather than later. Uh, there is a QR code, which will take you directly to their website where you can purchase the figure directly from them, which is the cheapest way to go. And that's about it. So without further ado... Let's bend this flap over, tuck it underneath the card, and then slide the card out to gain access to the figure. This is not my first uh, Knight of the Accord. I have a couple, but I don't believe I've opened this particular one yet, so everything should definitely be there. Let's tilt the camera down so you can see what's going on. All right, so... As usual, we're going to go through the accessories first. Here is the bag. It's still sealed, which means everything is still there. Let me get my, my knife out. The reason why I'm not just trying to peel the tape or is because the, uh, the bag it has a tendency to, uh, to stretch. So uh, the tape does too. So it's just easier to cut the tape, get the stuff out that way. Let's dump everything into here and go through everything one at a time. All right, so first of all, in here you'll see his figure stand. It's got two foot pegs and it is in the same um, shape and design of the Boss Fight Studio logo. Uh, even though it's oddly shaped though, uh, it keeps the, the figures standing very securely and uh, they work very well. Um, these are readily available with not just the figures, but also with uh, accessory sets and so on. Um, these are very good for all your 
four inch figures, frankly, and I've, I've used them for many different lines. Uh, let's see. He's also got a separate set of hands in here, which I will go over in a little bit, but well, let's start off with the helmet. So he comes with a standard helmet. This is the same helmet that came with the, uh, the male orc and I believe a couple other figures as well. Um, it has two peg holes on the side, and they are to accommodate his various face plates. Now, inside that bag was this face plate here. And as you can see, it's got peg holes for those pegs to fit into. I do highly recommend that you uh, that you heat these things up before you try to assemble them because um, they'll just be a lot more cooperative that way. Um, in my experience, some of these go on there a lot easier than others. Um, personally, I usually heat these up and then I use a precision screwdriver with a very thin shaft to just kind of get it in the hole and then uh, to widen it up enough to get the peg in while it's still hot and then when it cools, it shrinks back down. Um, what else do we have here? He's got other face plates too. I'm a little distracted. I heard a noise upstairs. My dog knocked something over. So when this video is over, I'm going to have to go see what he did. <laughs> but anyway, um, here is uh, another face plate. Look very good. And again, same principle. And with these actually... You can see how thin that plastic is around there. You definitely don't want to accidentally break this when you're trying to put it onto the helmet. So definitely heat these up first. I have accidentally broken one and it kind of sucked because it happened after I painted it. So just keep that in mind. You want to heat these things up. Here's the last face plate he comes with. So for a grand total of three face plates that can be used with this one helmet. This one's got some very nice painted details on it. And again, thin piece of plastic right there. So you want to be careful. And that's it for that particular helmet. But he also has a second helmet that he comes with, his winged helmet. Um, this is very Asgardian looking. And in my personal opinion, I, I think it may have been more inspired by the uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, steel blade than by Thor, although I could be wrong. Um, Steel Blade had like feathers coming up. Thor has the, the wings. So I could be wrong, but it's kind of reminiscent of both. And I like the fact that they did that. It also has some painted gold details on it. Um, he has two shoulder guards, which aren't agreeing with me at the second right this second trying to get it out of the tray obviously if i just dump the tray upside down it'll come out but you know why well, make things easy on myself <laughs> uh these have uh gold trim painted on there for a very nice effect um they're gray and gold uh it's got a very nice uh size peg hole um which fits into the uh, figure's shoulder. And I wish other uh, shoulder guards had similar size peg holes because I've run into the problem of some of them falling off. Like if you saw my custom video, uh, that particular uh, shoulder guard I used on my Paladin, for example, uh, they're too small, constantly come off the figure. So I have to enlarge them by cutting a screw and gluing it on there. But anyway, uh, these are the shoulder guards. They look really good on the figure, and I will demonstrate that in a minute. Let's, uh, let's get his weapons out now. <sighs> Again, no fingernails. I'll use the figure stand. Let me pop this out of here. Wow, that's not, that's not cooperating at all. Let me get these out of here so that I don't spill them all over the place. stuck in there pretty good push it from the other side there we go this is his axe it's very stylized not your typical axe it's got some nice molded 
detail that's picked out in different colors of paint. I like the blue wraps around the handle. It's subtle, but it's very nice. Um, the rivets are also painted differently as well. The blade itself is very stylized and unique looking. Very cool. He has a shield. Yeah, I'm going to have to pop all these out from the back. They're, they're in there pretty good. All right. He has a shield, which has some very nice painted details on it. That is paint. That's not a sticker. At least not as I can tell. There's the inside of the shield, also painted, including the buckles and the rivets. Very cool. This is a this is a soft plastic, so the fact that it's warped is not that big of an issue. You just you can bend it out easily, and then put it around the figure. Then the figure holds onto the handle just fine. Okay, he has a sword and scabbard or sheath. which has some nice painted detail on it as well, including the blue straps around it, really help tie the figure together, gold, black as well. Here's the sword. The sword is not a soft, flimsy plastic. It's actually pretty rigid and pointy, so be careful. Definitely not a kid's toy. And it fits nice and snug into the sheath. As you can hear that, it's very snug in there. There you go. The sheath itself has a peg hole so it can attach to his belt. And without further ado, let's get the figure out of the packaging. That is where the, uh, the sheath usually plugs into. I know people like to plug it into his back as well. Um, which doesn't happen that readily with this figure. Um, I know people have done it, but uh, it's not really meant to go there. It's meant to go here. I think that is actually something they changed with a different figure, possibly the Asperity Knight, but I'm not 100% positive. So anyway, here's the figure itself. I have, to, I have to keep looking because I keep trying to do this off camera and I apologize for that. Um, so anyhow, Here's the figure itself. That's his default uh, head sculpt. This comes with the, comes on the figure when you first get him. And like I said, he has other head sculpts as well. I'm just gonna leave them in the package. You can basically see it. So you have the Caucasian, you have an Asian, and you have the, the African American there. This is his uh, shoulder guard, which plugs into his shoulder. I believe that was the left one. Yes, it was. Plugs in just like that, and it stays pretty securely. It's got somewhat of a mushroom peg to it, so it does have a lip. So when it plugs in there, it stays in there. Very nice. Let's look at his detail. As you can see, several of his uh, his trim lines and his rivets are picked out in paint. Very nice. He's got his thigh armor on, his leg armor. He's got his pointy shoes. The blue. Very nice. Very nice figure. Let's go on to his uh, articulation. Man, I, I apologize. I am very distracted today. Uh, let's see if I can get back into this here. So his head, it's an all ball joint, does a full 360, can look down about that far, can look up a decent amount too. Uh, he can rock his head, tilt his head from side to side, and because he's on a barbell peg, you can kind of move his head back and forth, as well as rip it right off of his body if, if you so choose. <laughs> <laughs> but it does move back and forth. Um, his arms can do a full 360 without his armor pieces on. They will be hindered by his shoulder guards when you put them on there. Just keep that in mind. 
Um, they can go up about that far, again, without the shoulder guards. There is nothing at the bicep. Um, his elbows can do about 90 degrees up and nothing down because of the elbow guards there. Um, they can also bend from left and right, but are hindered by the elbow guards. Um, his forearm armor is removable, too, if I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, his, his hands do a full 360, and the particular set he has on the figure itself can tilt down and up. The extra set that came in that little baggie at the beginning of the video... can be swapped out and these bend in and out so depending on which weapons or accessories you want to pose them with you have the option to have him look a little bit more believable which is nice um, the detail on the hands also I forgot to mention uh, all the knuckles are picked out in paint too which is great touch his uh, ab crunch is actually a ball joint which enables him to get a really good range of motion there. His waist articulation is going to be hindered by his belt, but it is there as part of the figure's construction. You can spin his waist from side to side or a full 360 if you really had to. Um, but again, it's hindered by his belt a little bit. And this also comes off, by the way. Um, his legs can go out about this far. His shoulder pads do, uh, his shoulder armor, I'm sorry, his thigh armor does get in the way a little bit and they will pop right off if you go too far, as just happened to me. So let's put that back on. He can do a can-can about like that. His knees are double-jointed, so he can get his heel back a decent amount. His ankles are ball are a peg so they do a full 360 they also angle back about that far and angle forward about that far these shin guards also come off by the way so very good figure um decent articulation considering he's he's armored which and like i said will be hindered by like his shoulder guard for example and since i have it out so you can't do a full 360 with that up there you will knock it off um, it will go up about that far instead of all the way. So, keep that in mind. Otherwise, his articulation is pretty top-notch considering he's an armored figure. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We'll do a size comparison. Here he is next to a modern G.I. Joe. As you can see, he's roughly about the same size. Modern 118 scale, 4 inches. Fits in pretty good with that. Here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe. As you can see, he's noticeably taller. So he doesn't fit in too well with the vintage stuff, unfortunately, because he is three and three quarter inches. And the modern size is four. So all in all, he's a very good figure. I do highly recommend him. There's a lot of potential for customization as well as army building. If you just felt like kit bashing different parts together, you can still make them look different just by adding one with a cape or uh, a shoulder guard, giving him a different head sculpt, whatever. Um, great army builder and a decent figure on his own. Um, anyhow, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.